Norway in particular is one of the Scandinavian countries which is well known with its dramatic geographic and ecological realities. Its economic expansion in terms of GDP rivals that of economic giants like Britain, Germany, and the United States. The financial structure shows that Norway is one of the best countries in the world. This nation is widely considered to be one of the richest as ranked sixth by the year 2021. So, how is the country so rich? And where does the wealth come from? What makes Norway so rich? Many believe Norway was a relatively poor country until they discovered oil and gas in the North Sea. This may be just a speculation. However, as Norway's fortune was in the 19th century. This nation's wealth was on par or slightly above average compared to the rest of Europe at that time. Still, Norway was certainly behind its neighbors like Sweden and Denmark in terms of wealth. But now the story has taken turning point as Norway is getting wealthy. Well known with Viking history, snow sports and breathtaking fjords, Norway is making a new name for itself as the only major economy in Europe where young people are noticeably richer. Youngsters have enjoyed a 13% increase in family disposable income compared to previous generation. In Norway, citizens in their early 30s have an average annual disposable household income of around $56,200. Youngsters and people working in low-wage industries have experienced the growth rates of their wages every year. The differences between low-wage earners and high-wage earners are not as great as in other countries. The heavily subsidized health care also helps to compare the prospects of Norwegian millennials with those of other parts of Europe. Unemployment benefits are generous, it allows many people to earn around 60% of their previous salary over two years while looking for a new job. As in all Nordic countries, low childcare costs and a general parental leave system also ensure a high participation of women in the workforce to build the nation. Norway's economic growth. The economy has been set for a healthy rebound in 2021, following this year's pandemic-induced contraction. Rising private consumption and a rebound in capital spending are set to support domestic demand, while a recuperated external outlook has to benefit key exports, however, the ongoing nature of the pandemic and uncertain future oil demand are the main risks. The total GDP however grew by 3.3% in 2021, 0.1 percentage points less than forecast in the previous period. Norway has a stable economy with a dynamic private sector, a large state sector and an extensive social safety net. Norway partly participates in the EU internal market and contributes significantly to the EU budget. The country is endowed with abundant natural resources such as oil and gas, fish, forests, and minerals. Norway is a leading producer and second largest seafood exporter after China. The government manages country's oil resources through extensive regulations. According to official national estimates, the oil sector accounts for around 9% of jobs, 12% of GDP, 13% of national income and 37% of exports. One of the largest oil exporters in the world, although oil production is about 50% below its peak in 2000. Gas production, on the other hand, has more than doubled since 2000. Still oil production is historically low. Norway's national electricity production is almost entirely hydropower, worth more than 1 trillion US dollars. In order to balance the federal budget each year, the government follows a fiscal rule which states that spending on oil revenues from petroleum and fund. Investments shall correspond to the expected real rate of return on the fund, an amount it estimates is sustainable over time. How Norway established its economy in history The Norwegian government owns shares in a number of large corporations. A minority stake in most industrial operations and all or control of the shares in some armaments factories, as well as chemical and electrometallurgical companies, power plants and mines. Government policies are also aimed at attracting foreign investment. Rapid business improvement and exploitation of sources are important governmental goals, with unique emphasis on northern Norway, in which improvement has lagged at the back of that of the southern areas. The Development Fund for North Norway, installed in 1952, collectively with a coverage of tax concessions, led to the rapid development. The use of offshore oil and reserves has had a profound impact on Norway's financial system in latest years. Increased oil sales have multiplied each home intake and funding. 
The authorities has used oil sales to ease taxes and growth public funding in local improvement, environmental protection, social welfare, education, and communications. In 1992, Norway's offshore oil and taxes amounted to KR 32,299 million. Although the growth of revolutionary oil improvement projects, which includes the $4.2 billion Heron oil project, continues. The $5 billion troll gas field is one such project. A tax law enables industry and commerce to build tax-free reserves for future investments, foreign sales promotion and research. As a flexible instrument for influencing economic developments, the law is intended to help ensure that aggregate demand is sufficient at all times to create full employment and strong economic growth. In the late 1970s, the government introduced combined price and wage agreements to contain inflation and ensure a real increase in consumer purchasing power. To stimulate industry, there are incentives for companies in the north, but also in other economically weak regions, companies can set aside up to 25% of taxable income for tax-free investments, there are tariff incentives for important imports. A regional development fund provides long-term, low-interest loans to businesses to help boost economies of low-income and high unemployment areas across the country. The government of Norway introduced a three-year program in 1991 in order to improve infrastructure and reduce unemployment in the nation. That plan consisted of spending about 10 billion Norwegian krona, mainly on road and rail transport, with the money coming from budget cuts in other areas. Although the Norwegians rejected EU membership in a referendum in 1994, Norway's economy was largely integrated into that of the EU. Norway has a free trade agreement with the EU, its currency is generally the euro. Despite these partnership elements, Norway retains full control over its own economic development policy. Norway has been actively involved in helping to develop other countries through the Norwegian Agency for International Development. The main recipients were Tanzania, Mozambique, Zambia, Bangladesh, Nicaragua, and Ethiopia. The country's petroleum fund reached $67 billion in late 2001, so the fund was used to finance government programs for future purpose. Which act was proven to be very useful in later years. Norway seems to be an overachiever in many categories that in present day it is looking gloom in comparison to other countries in Europe. Thank you for watching, subscribe our channel World Facts to support us, and like this video as well. See you in another video, cheers!